guys, welcome to a new episode of Conflicts and Bullet. Now note, this is the same robot that we actually reviewed previously, but you may notice that he actually looks significantly different. That's because we printed all new body panels using the DaVinci Mini Maker 3D printer. This is actually from XYZ Printing, which is the same company that created the Bullet robot, also known as XYZ Robotics. Now note, uh, the robot itself functions exactly the same way as it did before. It might be actually a little bit even better. Now, every single potty panel on this actually is all completely unique and different. I used the 3D printing website, which was xyzprinting.com. Also, you can use like Yegi or uh, any other other 3D uh, data pieces where you can actually download different models. And I looked up Bullet Robot and I found this exact body panels that I liked and I actually printed them out individually. Uh, now, no, it did take a while for them to print, but it was actually very, very much worth it. So let's go take a quick look at a video of them actually being made. How it made, you can actually probably think it did take a while, which it actually did. Each body panel actually took about 8 to 12 hours to make. Now that's actually a lot, but you can actually adjust the settings and make it print faster or slower. Now obviously the slower you print, the higher the quality, which is what I was going after. Now the robot itself functions exactly the same, meaning it still does all the same moves. Uh, the, ro the remote control still works. Literally if I just go ahead and press up, It'll do an uppercut, if I do down, it'll do a lower upper, lower cut, and he still walks, etc. So, without any issue, uh, so let's go ahead and try to give him a quick demo and see how that looks. Alright, so that gives you an idea of exactly what he's still capable of. Now note, all the functions are exactly the same, and he's still completely customizable in terms of uh, being able to um, fight. So you can actually create your own fighting stances and create your own fighting moves using the remote itself. But uh, yeah, it kind of gives you an idea of what you what can do with this robot, and being able to customize it, it just adds its own uniqueness. But uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and if you've got any questions regarding the Bullet Robot or the DaVinci Mini Maker, feel free to comment down below. Otherwise, thank you again for watching, and we'll see you in the next video. Take care, guys. Bye-bye.